once we can make a sound on a reed that crows a C, we can place the reed in the instrument and play our first notes. The reed always, always, always goes all the way in as far as you can get it into the instrument. We never pull an oboe reed out for tuning. Unfortunately, it's all in the reed. Okay, the first notes that an oboe player should play are not usually the ones that are presented in band methods. Some are. And that would simply be on the staff, B, A, G, first finger, add second finger, add third finger. So this is only left hand. Um, the right hand is going to just hold up the instrument. The left hand fingers will be curved, palm parallel to the instrument. We remember how we took a breath and made an embouchure. <laughs> Students should play long notes, much longer on oboe than they would on, for example, flute, certainly. Play long notes. The first tune I actually have them play, and this does work out very well, is to play the three note version of Mary Had a Little Lamb in one breath. So this involves taking a breath and sustaining it. It involves tonguing because there is some repeated, uh, there are some repeated notes. Also involves slurring as much as possible. Oboes can and probably should start out by slurring as much as possible because they can sustain the air longer. If we think of the breath support in terms of the hiss. S breathe in for four counts, hiss for 10 counts, or as many as a student can. We can get that Mary had a little lamb in one breath. Don't worry about the ending, but the note begins with the release of the tongue, and your breath support will allow you to crescendo all the way through the tune. Most of the time, first lesson students who have a reed that is reasonably playable, crows a C, can manage to get that out, and that's enough for a first lesson. 